Hello, good evening, Veronica. How are you doing? How are you? Hello, nice. Nice, that's nice. Um, just give me a couple of seconds. Let's see. No, I can't change the background. Okay, let's do it like there. So tell me, um, how was your day? How was your day? Stress. Stress. Really stress. Stress. Really. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, work, working a lot. Are he super stressed? Super stressed. Really. Mm -hmm. And tell me, uh, the previous days you were really busy. So you were also busy the days before, right? Yes. Okay, but now you're okay. Ahora todo bien. Ahora todo nice. Okay. I like to hear that. Me gusta escuchar eso. So, um, did you check uh, the homeworks? Revisaste las tareas y todo eso? Yep. Yes. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So, here we have also Mercy. Hello, Mercy. Hello, teacher. No parece. <laughs> yes, I can see. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. We're fine. And okay. you? Well, uh, I'm kind of tired, un poquito cansado. This was a, a very busy day. Un día un poquito pues, ocupado. But, but I'm okay. Igual el mío. Okay. <laughs> remember, remember, four days and we're, um, we're going to be on Friday. Cuatro días más y estamos en viernes. So let's see, <laughs> yeah. let's be positive. Okay. So, um, Tell me, what are the main things? Can you mention one thing you do at work? Una cosa, una actividad que ustedes hagan en, en el trabajo? Uh, in, in my work, mm -hmm. I attend provider. You attend providers, okay. Todos los días. Every day, what I else? Check sales. Okay, you check sales, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. that, 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 that's fine. And what elaborate, about elaborate elaborate check? You elaborate Daily. checks, okay. Daily, see. Daily, yes. really? Wow. Daily. So there, there is a lot of movement. Bastante movimiento. Yes. Okay. What else? Uh, do you have another activity that you do during the, the week, uh, Veronica? What? And do you have other activities you do during the weekend, the, the week? Conciliation, um, preparation, inform, um, financial statement. Financial statement. Okay. Statement. Well, that sounds like very important. You are a, an yes. accountant, right, Veronica? Yes. Okay. Accountant general. Wow. I studied that that uh, high school, but I didn't pay a lot of attention. But even I learned some things. Yes, I learned some things. But that is a very important job, of course. Okay, fine, Veronica. We have also the new student. Let's see this new student, Claudia Ventura. I don't know this girl. No conozco esta mujercita acá. Hello, teacher. Hello, ah, Claudita. So, did you have a date today? Because I can see your hair is different. Hoy, hoy me peine. <laughs> ah, okay. But do you have a special occasion? Um, no. 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 Nothing special. Okay. No, nothing. How was your day, Clau? Is steady. Really? Okay. Yes. I no. have a, a meeting. Mm hmm. You had a meeting. Uh, ¿cómo, se, ¿Cómo se dice mediodía? At noon. Noon. Okay, I have meeting 
at noon. Ok, today. you have, have, a mirror at noon. Porque recuerda, afternoon es después del mediodía, o sea, en la tarde, afternoon. So, yeah. wow. Um, how much time uh, did it take? One hour, the meeting. 30 minutes, two hours. Six hours. Come on. The yes. event, Claudita. Six no. hours. Yes. Wow. The, the, ¿Ya viste la cara one, de Carmen? <laughs> It's like, the one what? The six and club. Until six. Okay. So, yes. wow. How, how hard and tiring meeting. Wow. I, I couldn't stand that. Yo no hubiera. No, no, no podría soportar eso. Wow. It's too much time. Mucho, mucho tiempo. Yes. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, so you need to relax a little bit. Okay. Claudita. Let's see what we, uh, what we can do. Okay. So nice, Claudita. We have also um, Carmen. Hello, Carmen. Hello, teacher. Uh, how, hello. How was your day? Uh, anything uh, special? Okay. Today or normal, normal day? Normal day. Normal day. Okay, without problems. No. Okay, yes, because because Claudita had a six hours meeting. So can you imagine that? No. Oh, no. How desperate. Today, uh, one hour. One hour, yes. I think one hour is enough or less. <laughs> menos, menos, okay? The less, the better, okay? So thank you, Carmen. Here we have again Susie that she's hiding. Se me está escondiendo. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Normal, uh, special activities. Mm -hmm. Normal, normal day. Normal. Everything okay. Well, how, how about your, your your flu? Are you okay? How do you feel? Yeah. Uh, mm, I feel good. You feel better than yesterday, obviously. Ah, uh, better. Yeah, okay. better. That's fine. See, I just la carita de Susi again. Okay, so here we have also um, Diego. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Okay, I'm pretty good. What about you? Yeah, well, I'm kind of tired. A busy day. Yes, busy, but yeah, okay. Remember, you know, I, I felt this, this day <laughs> bad along because I didn't, I didn't sleep well. Oh, wow. Night. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. But sometimes I still for insomnia and that's make me feel down. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you feel that the time gets longer and the time is not passing by. So one hour, it, it yeah. feels like, like infinity. So, well, but I, I was all the, all the day waiting. Yeah. Waiting. yeah. There are some <laughs> days that you feel that the time is not passing by. So I recommend you to try to sleep earlier tonight because you everybody needs to rest. That's something I always try to sure, but nothing works. <laughs> nothing works. Maybe a kind of well, maybe uh, a pair of shots. Uh, it is needed. <laughs> yeah, just take uh, just ask them, just uh, ask for them to Diana, and eh, no problem, okay. Uh, I will try it. Okay. Good. Thanks uh, for telling me, Diego. Marlon. Okay. Welcome back. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Uh, how was yesterday? Good. Yes, yesterday. Yes. I was relaxed. Uh, a, a second honeymoon? Una segunda luna de miel? No. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Ah, come on. Okay. Everything. Relax. Everything okay. relax. Everything normal. Watching TV, watching some movies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Good. That's fine. Fine. And, and anything special for today, Marlon? Um, um. No. No. It was. It was a relaxing day. Not so a relaxing day. My okay. job. Because Perfect. I stayed all day in the office. Mm -hmm. So it uh, was. Uh, mm -hmm relax okay good good i like those days okay perfect we have dianita she looks like a flight attendant but as a hermosa diana yes you, you look like you are about to to get a flight <laughs> oh. mm, it's my uniform yeah you love your uniform i know it i know it. no no you don't no love it. really okay 
Um, but uh, how was your day, Janita? Good, fine. Uh, more or less. More or less. Okay, today is what day is today? Today is Monday, right? Monday. Okay, yes. Oh, Mondays. Mondays are quite <laughs> difficult, yes. Okay. Cheers, animal, animal. Okay. Here we have also um Kevin. I don't know, maybe he's trying to uh turn the camera on. Hello, Hello Kevin. Kevin. Hello, Kevin. How are you doing? Uh I'm good. You're good. Okay. 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 That's fine. Um, let's see. There are some things that you uh, are sure you do uh, during the week or on a normal day. But we're going to talk about things that you don't do at the office and you would like to do. But first of all, we're going to use, I'm sorry, we're going to check the topic that it is how to use have to and need to, okay? So if we have have to, it's like an obligation. It is something that you, it is mandatory. It is an obligation, so something that you have to do or you die. <laughs> and uh, when you need to do something, it is, uh, it can be a, a suggestion, an advice, or a recommendation of a person. And of course, uh, it is important to do the things, but if we compare have to and need to, have to has more relevance, okay? More importance. But um, we are going to talk about the something you never do in your workplace. You never do, but you would like to do, okay? Teacher, teacher, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Which one, which one has more relevation, excuse me? Have to, well, uh, uh, talking have about to. like, uh, like commands, like imperatives, that is something that we are okay. talking about. Los imperativos son como indicaciones y órdenes. So you have to, for example, you have to take that call, Diego. You have to send me that report uh, today. Yes? Uh, okay, and thank you, teacher. Yes, yeah, it's a pleasure. But sometimes we have failures, we have weaknesses uh, because we are not perfect in, in everything. So uh, sometimes our bosses or our, uh, our coordinators says, um, Carmen, you should, you need to come earlier to work. So you can take advantage of the time and, and you finish all, all your paperwork, okay? So it's kind of recommendation and something that you have to do. I'm not, no have to, you should do. Algo que deberían de ser cuando utilizamos need, ¿verdad? Need es, tú necesitas hacer esto. It's kind of recommendation, but have to is like, mm, like an obligation, okay? So that's okay, it. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, my friend. So tell me the things that you don't do at work, but you would like to do out of your job, out of your obligations. What are your obligations? What would you like to do? Watch Netflix or, or what? Or, or smoke something? Or, <laughs> I don't know. So tell me, Veronica, what would you like that's, to do? That's not a bad idea. <laughs> That's not about it. To get relaxed. <laughs> okay. Uh, Veronica, tell me, what would you like to do but that you don't do at the workplace? Um... Okay, I'm going to give you time. Okay, everybody thinks about it because there are a lot of things that you yes. would like to do. Of course, of course. Okay, uh, let's see. Diego, okay, Diego, you have like a, a couple of ideas. Besides, yes, yes, I got it. <laughs> yeah, really. I would like to uh, to smoke some cigarette mm -hmm. in, in my breaks, but. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. But, uh, mm -hmm. And I would like to get an app too. <laughs> oh, wow. I think that that is something that should be well in in some countries that that is part of the, of the schedule it's part of the yes like, like the agenda that you have that uh, there are well they have carried some studies some uh, researches and llevado algunos estudios and it the studies reflect that if you take a rest for a while 
uh, you can do a better job. So there are some enterprises in yes. other countries that they take advantage of that. So they uh, they are focused not only in exploring or squeezing the, the employees, but uh, they are more focused on getting all the best uh, workforce. Así que prefieren que duerman 15 minutos y lo siguen exprimiendo, pero no como acá. Que, wow. the, this is like yes, the, slaves, slavery. There are some, some companies that, that has to on, on a specific diet for her or for his employees, like Google. Mm, yes, yes. Google has a, a lot of, about it. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of benefits, uh, especially they don't use uniforms. They don't take, they don't care about it. No les importa que usen uniforme because uh, they are focused on the benefits or the workforce or all the, the ideas, well, the, the opportunity that uh, work, the employees uh, may give. So that is something really innovative. It's part of sure? the innovation. Mm, okay. Yeah. Teacher? Sure? Okay. Yes, very good. So, um, give timing on tax updates. I'm sorry, could you repeat, please? Keep training on tap of day. Tap Eso of... me gustaría hacer en el trabajo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and what's your schedule, Veronica? You work from 8 to 5. Mm -hmm. Or from 7 yes. to 4. From 8 to 5. Yes, kind of. But you're accustomed, just acostumbrada, right? Okay. Uh, Thank you, Verito. Let's see, what about Diana? What would you like to do that you don't normally do or you never do at work? Mm, take a rest. Take a rest. Um, how much time do you consider? Don't say one hour. Minutes. <laughs> okay. How many, uh, well, a couple of minutes, 15, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Especially after lunch, right? Después del almuerzo. Mm. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yes, why not? Okay, thank you. Uh, let's listen to Carmen and then Susie. I would like use to have a cafeteria within the uh, stop size institution. Mm -hmm. Tenía en otra institución teníamos mm -hmm. subsidio en, en el, la comida. Really, wow, that is wonderful. <laughs> for, for, for snacks or for lunch? For lunch. Wow, that's fine. Yes, I have I have heard about some projects that you give some apportations, uh, you give like a quantity, but it is, uh, well, that has a lot of benefits, of course. Yes, why not? Thank you, Carmen. Ah, do you have another? No. Um, uh, uh, work every weekend. Okay. Work every weekend. Every weekend, I, ah, not, I will uh, not like. Ah, you will. Ah, okay. You will not like. Okay. Thank you, Carmen Susi. And then we go with Dorita. Uh, what I should. Oh, no, yo quisiera. No sé cómo se pronuncia, perdón. I'd like. I'd like. I like. Or I would uh, like. <laughs> right, rest on Saturday. Ah, rest on Saturday. Yes. You're yep. not you're, you're not asking for too much. No estás pidiendo mucho. Just uh, rest. <laughs> yes, resting for Saturday. And believe me, I worked from Monday to Saturday night, uh, like ten years. Trabajé así como diez años. And now uh, the last year that uh, for, since the last year, my uh, weekends are off. No trabajo los lo fines de semana. So I have. Um, I have felt or seen, experienced a big difference. Wow, but a big difference. So I can rest more. Así que algún día, algún día. Some days. Sí, que yo me estaba haciendo muy viejo por eso. Okay, thank you, Susi. Oh, what's that bitch? No problem with you. Okay, Dorita, and then we go with Mercy. No escuché la pregunta. Okay, I'm going to give you time. Te voy a dar tiempo, Dorita. La pregunta es, what would you do? No, what would you like to do? in your job that you don't normally do. ¿Qué te gustaría hacer en el trabajo que normalmente no haces o que nunca haces? Okay, so think about it. Merci, then Claudita. 
Uh, bueno, I like to rest more. Very mm -hmm. tired. Rest in peace or what? Rest, rest more of what? Monday or uh, Saturday. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yes. You would like to work from Monday to Friday. Saturday. Saturday. Ah, y eso si no quiere, mira, ahí. Le hace todo el día, día todo el día, <ríe> ah, sí, de okay. lunes a sábado, todo el completo. Solo descanso domingo. Ok. ¿Y te gusta? Are you happy eh, with that? Ya estoy cansada. Oh, ok, vale. De. De A. From uh, A. From A to. From, from A to. Eh, 6 p.m. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ok, wonderful. Thank you. Eh, Claudita, te voy a decir Clau porque Claudita es un. Tiene muy, tres sílabas. ¿Oíste? Entonces, Clau, te voy a decir, ¿oíste? Ya que tenés otro cabello, entonces ya cambiaste. Tenés otra personalidad. ¿Y a la otra compañera, cómo le va a decir? Le voy a decir Claudia. And you're Clau. <risa> ok. Claudia Díaz, I'm sorry, what's your second name? <risa> Igual es Carolina. <risa> no, porque ustedes, las dos han de ser malías. Ok, ok. Eh, ¿Qué es Clau? <risa> a una de le cambia a otra Claudia. Yes, definitely. Clau and Claudia. Ok. Ahora sí, no se me olvida. No, me puede decir Carolina. Ok. Caro, vaya. Caro. Es okay. que sí, me ahorro sílabas. Ajá. Ah, vaya. Okay. Entonces yes. ya lo voy a cambiar. <risa> ok. Caro en Claudia. Ok. Queda ahí. Aprobado por la asamblea. Ok. Thank you. Ok. <risa> ok, Caro. Go ahead. Uh, I like, I like is to sleep 10 minutes. To what? To, to rest 10 minutes? Yes. Okay. Okay. That, 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 that's fine. That's fair. Es justo. Okay. And now we go with it, uh, Claudia. And then Kevin. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like how more time for my lunch. Mm -hmm. How much time do you usually have? One hour? 45 minutes? 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Even if you have one hour, it is not uh, It is not enough. Because you go out from your workplace, you look for food, or even you use the microwave, and you prepare what, where you're going to have your lunch. So one hour, is it is not enough. No es suficiente una hora. I think one hour and 20 minutes at, at least. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Claudia, okay, Kevin, and then uh, we we'll go with Dorita. Okay, I would like to listen to music while I work. Mm, really? Uh, it, you can do it? No, I can. Mm, well, yes, that changed the environment. Yes, of course, definitely. Okay, yes, I'm sorry for you, Kevin, but if you would hear me or you, if you, Cool. Listen to music. Believe me, the environment is quite different. At least with headphones. Por lo menos con Okay. Okay. Eh, Dorita, and then Andrea. Andrea, estamos hablando de, la, de las cosas que no hacemos en la oficina, en la oficina, en el trabajo, y que te gustaría hacer. Okay, Andrea. Okay. Okay. So, Dorita, you go. I would like to work a longer day from Monday to Friday. Friday. So as not to go on Saturday. Okay, you prefer to work more hours from Monday to Friday. Yes. Uh, so you don't, you wouldn't go on, on Saturday. I believe that's fair. Me parece justo. Yes, because you can cover the hour or the hours from Saturday, but you, you can rest, of course. Perfect. Good. Deber de ser diputado. Okay. And um, what about uh, who else? Who else? Andrea, then Christian. Um, I like a rest Saturday and work fewer hours. Fewer hours. Salió más malía. Descansar <laughs> sábado y trabajar menos horas. Mm -hmm. Anything okay. else? Algo más? <laughs> okay. Mm, no. More, more. <laughs> Yeah, well, increase our salary. Okay, thank you, Andrita. Uh, Christian. And then Edgar. Hello, Christian. Hello. Are you, are you ready, my friend? Did you listen to, to the question? Uh, yes. yes. Okay, tell me. 
Ya, vamos eh, a I like eh, ir en horario de trabajo, ¿cómo se dice? Yes, en horario de yes, D during, uh -huh. scheduled work, uh -huh. job schedule, work schedule. You can't, no puedes. Snacks? No, Snacks? <laughs> prohibido en el escritorio. <laughs> Some churritos, some, some, ¿qué hace? ¿Tricks? No. Nada, nada, de un dulce. Wow, I'm sorry. What about, yes, about water? Yeah, water, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Wow, I'm sorry, Christian, because that, that is, you need some time. You need a candy. Yes, <laughs> or you need, yeah, I don't know. You, you need like a, mm -hmm. what? Some breath, sweet breath. Okay, thank you, Christian. Edgar? Uh, I will like more vacation days. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the day, the during the year. Wow. Uh, work a few more days to uh, accumulate hours. Hours. Hours to exchange. Then so so to speak. Yeah, I think that that uh, feels like better. You can accumulate work more hours uh, during some schedules, some days. So you can have more vacations, yes. I think we can do that effort. Podemos hacer ese esfuerzo, okay? So uh, nice. So we continue. And after going to the, the first question, I would like to explain you something. El do you mind? Mind significa mente, ¿verdad? Como peace of mind, que es un álbum de mente, ¿verdad? Muy, muy bueno, por cierto. But uh, cuando decimos mind, significa eh, te molesta, molestar en este caso o, o, o te incomoda. En este caso aquí tengo aquí abajo, mind es similar a bother, no brother. Brother es hermano, bother significa molestar. Por ejemplo, si dice, I'm, I feel bothered, o that's bothered, that bothers me, eso me molesta. Eh, entonces es igual que mind. Ahora, we use, do you mind, para hacer una pregunta. To ask politely a person to do or not to do something in specific. Así que lo utilizamos para eh, pedirle amablemente. Eh, remember that to express politely is so important. So you don't look, uh, you don't seem or, uh -huh, or, or your pronunciation or your English um, doesn't feel like rude. No se siente como rudo, pesadito. So that's why. Y esta es, eh, esta es la estructura, ¿ok? Do you mind plus verb ing? It means like gerund, como un gerundio. Digo gerundio porque no es el presente continuo. Presente continuo es, es, por ejemplo, speaking es hablando. Closing, cerrando. Un gerundio es un verbo que al agregarle ing se vuelve un sustantivo. ¿Ya? Entonces, eh, do you mind closing the door? Do you mind speaking aloud? ¿Te molesta cerrar la puerta? Eh, ¿Te molestaría o, o, o te incomoda hablar más fuerte? In case a person, there are some people that they speak very, very loud. So they need like more volume. Necesitan como más volumen. So do you mind closing the door? Do you mind speaking aloud? Entonces es, se escuchan la, la, la entonación. Do you mind closing the door? Do you mind speaking aloud? Entonces, eh, la pregunta, ¿verdad? ¿Te, te molestaría cerrar, cerrar la puerta? ¿Te molestaría uh, hablar más fuerte? So, you can invent different things. Do you mind bringing the food? ¿Te molestaría traer la comida? Do you mind turning the TV off? ¿Te molestaría apagar la televisión? Entonces, todos los verbos terminan con ING. We have two options. Tenemos dos, dos opciones para utilizar esto. Um, ok. So, if you want, you can uh, take notes or have a screenshot. It's up to you, okay? So, we're having sure. three examples. Yeah, Veronica, tell me. Este podría ser, do you mind working this Saturday? Mm -hmm. And of course, you're going to say, mm, okay. <laughs> Not really, como que, ah, la verdad, no, jefecito. Yes. <laughs> uh, do you mind working extra hours without payment, sin pago? And you, mm. <laughs> Okay, but in case uh, it is common, it is more common that the answer is positive. Positive, I mean, it is not just yes, 
but the context or the meaning. O sea, el significado cuando te dicen eso es que porque normalmente, como te lo dicen amablemente, no, uh, it is common that or normally the answer is yes. Ok. We continue. Tenemos la otra forma. Do you mind if? And in my point of view, I consider that this is like an easier form to use it. Es una forma como más fácil de usarla porque utilizamos el if y aquí simplemente hacemos una oración en presente simple. No utilizamos el ing. It means that we don't need a gerund or we don't need a verb with ing. No necesitamos un verbo con ing. Simple. Do you mind if I close the window? ¿Te molesta si cerro la ventana? Do you mind? Do you mind if I smoke here? ¿Te molesta si fumo aquí? Do you mind if I sit here? ¿Te molesta o te incomoda si yo me siento aquí? Do you mind if I leave earlier? ¿Te molesta si me voy antes? Si imagine you're in a party and you feel like the environment is uncomfortable. You don't feel good. You don't like it. So you can say to, to the to the host, eh, le dicen como al, al, a la persona, me he la palabra, host. Uh, anfitrión. El anfitrión, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anfitrión. Eh, you can say that you don't feel good, so do you mind if I, if I leave earlier? Y le puedo decir, oh, ok, go ahead. So, do you mind if, vean la diferencia, tenemos acá. Do you mind, y el verbo con ing. And the other is, do you mind if? Te molestaría si. Remember Teacher. that. Mm -hmm. uh, o sea, que lo único que es la diferencia es el if. Mm -hmm. If y que el verbo no lleva ing. Pero porque estamos ocupando el, el sujeto. O sea, porque ocupamos uh, realmente el sujeto. Yep, that's it. That's the reason. Esa es la razón. Y recuerden que el if es un sí condicional. No le pueden decir, do you want pupusas? If, if. No, no pueden decir if. Decimos yes, ok, así que este if no lo utilicen de, de, de sí, ¿verdad? A menos si les proponen matrimonio pueden decir if y ahí ponen la condición, ¿verdad? Si me das tu salario, ok. So, and we have the, the other option in here, the answers. Podemos decir, eh, como estamos preguntando si te molesta, no estamos preguntando si te, si te, si te gusta, si quieres, te, ponen, te molesta y podemos decir, no, I don't mind, please. Okay, como, no me molesta. Ok. Oh, no. Go ahead. Por eso les decía que la respuesta no es un sí literalmente eh, con una respuesta de, de, de afirmación, pero el contexto, ¿verdad? Te da a entender que es dale. Ok. That's it. Ok. In the case, imagine, uh, Lisa, do you mind if Teacher, I... Teacher, y, uh -huh. y si la respuesta sí fuera afirmativa, que sí le molesta. Lo que pasa es que ahorita ya voy a explicar eso. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Hay otra forma de decirlo, ¿verdad? Pero puedes decir, do you mind, but por ejemplo, uh, let's imagine that not everybody likes when a person is smoking around. So imagine you have a baby. And you have a baby and a person starts smoking. So uh, you can say. Como que justifica su respuesta. Yeah, but in the case you can say, do you mind uh, stop smoking? Because I have a baby. And the person can say, ah, eh, puede decir, ¿te importaría dejar de fumar? ¿Verdad? Entonces puede decir, ah, ok, no, 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 go ahead. O, oh, no, I don't mind, ¿verdad? Y uno, y se va. Pero si en el caso le dice, si eh, le contesta que sí le importa, esa respuesta sería como ruda, sería pesadita. Es como que, mira, te molesta. Sí, la verdad me molesta. Eso eh, es como un arguing. Es como un este, ¿cómo se llama? Como un, ya un debate. Ahora Mucha bien, sinceridad. Demasiada, sin filtro. Y ya voy a ese punto. Do you mind if I open the window? ¿Te molestaría? Si, sí, ¿cómo se llama? Si abro la ventana. Y you can answer. I'm sorry, I feel cold. So please don't. Aquí está el punto. I'm sorry, I feel cold. So I please don't. Entonces, eh, imagine you have a baby. And a person says, do you mind if I smoke here? ¿Te molestaría si yo fumo acá? You can say, I'm sorry, but I have a baby. So please don't. Ya? Yeah? Entonces así sería. Eh, lo, lo, lo siguiente. Do you mind if I turn on the TV? I'm sorry. I'm sorry right now. 
Entonces es como que eh, de la manera más amable, pues se le preguntan, digamos que ustedes están you're in, the, in, the, in the living room, están en la sala, y su hermano o one of your brothers wants to watch the TV and you are standing in there. So your brother says, tu hermano te dice, do you mind if I turn on the TV? ¿Te molesta si enciendo la tele? And you can say, I'm sorry. I'm having classes. I'm having English classes. Okay. Edgar, go ahead, my friend. Entonces, como para contestar así, positivo, es como tratando de evadir la respuesta directa. Bye. Yes. Mm -hmm. Así. Bye. Eh, recapitulando. Si ustedes quieren contestar que no hay problema, o sea, no hay nada, dale, pueden decir, no, pero mind, please, oh, go ahead, no, go ahead. Si no les molesta, si no les molesta, pero si les incomoda, pueden decir simplemente este, please don't, por favor, no lo hagas. Pero esta es una manera como más, mm, más amable. I'm sorry, I feel cold, I'm sorry, I don't want, so please, so please don't, ok? So if you want to have screenshots, you can tomar la, la foto de pantalla, go ahead, or take, uh, bueno, de todos modos, lo vamos, necesito que, que me los leen, ok? Para, pues, por ver si me falta, ah, no se puede. Ok, la voy a pasar. Ok, go ahead. Ya, yeah, Diego. Uh, I'm, I'm a little, uh, little bit confused about mm -hmm. when, when do we have to, to use just a simple present? Mm -hmm. In continuous present. Okay. Yeah. And uh, even we're uh, we're going to read it. So um, here we have. Do you mind closing the door? In este caso, in this case, we don't have subjects. Uh, we don't have so the verb is not in conjugation. No se está conjugando. No tiene conjugación. Bye. Sencillo. Si okay. dice el do you mind, siempre lo van a usar. Ahora la esta frase. ¿Verdad? Tienen dos opciones. O utilizan el verb ing y el complemento. O utilizan el if. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. El sujeto y el verbo normal. ¿Verdad? Este es más práctico para no confundirse. Es el más como mamá, más práctico. El otro es como... Pues, es diferente, pero como acuérdense que los estadounidenses, como nosotros salvadoreños, hablamos en corto. No queremos hablar tanto. So, so that's it. That's why they use this uh, form more than the other. So I need you to... Okay, so now, okay, are we clear? Okay, perfect. Yes, now I got it. Thank you so much. It's... Uh... That looks like the case of, of the simple present when I'm talking about, for for example, or for instance, when I say I like to play the guitar, or mm -hmm. I can say I like playing guitar. Playing the guitar, yes. It's okay. similar because the ing verb, it is not uh, uh, present continuous, it's a gerund. No está diciendo uh, me gusta mm -hmm. tocando la guitarra, sino me gusta tocar la guitarra. So that's it. Okay. The same no, example. Okay, wonderful. I'd like to hear that. Carmen, could you help me reading this first question? And then we go with Susie. Eh, antes, una pregunta. Quiere decir que ocupan más eh, con el ING. Mm, yeah. Yeah, but both are, 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 are uh, what, uh, allowed, son permitidos. Both of them are okay. Pero este se utiliza eh, y como frase. Es como cuando decimos I think, I think. Utilizamos el I think, pero pueden decir I consider. In my opinion, I believe, I feel. Ok. Ok. Yes, Edgar, go ahead. Eh, otra pregunta. Vale, digamos, ahí eh, le está preguntando de, de uno, ¿verdad? Y si, digamos, le preguntara a alguien, ¿te molesta si ella cierra la puerta? En ese caso, el verbo pasaría a tercera persona. o uh -huh. No sufriría ninguna modificación. Sería así. Do you mind her closing the window? Eh, no, oh. yo digo en la otra, en el if. If she, if she closes. Yes, definitely. Closes. definitely. Ah. If. Ah. Como lleva el sujeto, ¿verdad? Sí, y aquí como no hay. Uh, do you mind if she closes the window? Do you mind if Carmen turns on, turns off the camera? 
Si le, le pregunto a Verónica, ¿te molestaría si Carmen apaga la, la, la cámara? Do you mind if Carmen uh, turns, turns off the, the, the camera? No, I don't, Carmen. No, ok. So that's it. Ajá, no, no, no me molesta, ok. So that's it. Ok, you're welcome. Sí, como acuérdense que aquí es el simple, el simple present, ¿verdad? So that's okay. eh, todo se basa en eso. Ok. Teacher, so, uh -huh. a pesar que mean es igual a border, border no se puede utilizar en pregunta. Mm, yes, you can say. Yes. Mm, sí, pero es más común mine. Mine bueno. es más común. Uh -huh. Igual sí. que esta. Pueden decir do o pueden decir would you mind. Pero aquí ya no sería te molesta, sería te molestaría. Porque el would es it's an auxiliary, a modal auxiliary y cambia el verbo a ia, pero te molestaría. So that's it. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Anytime. So, Carmen, please, uh, the first one and then Susie, the second one. Perdón, perdón teacher, yo también yes. tenía. Yes. Una... Dele, tenía... dele. Uh -huh. Y es que veo que este es como para hacer una pregunta solamente a una segunda persona. Do you mm -hmm. mind? Es directa. It's a direct question. Directa, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Pero y habría alguna manera de, de que como cuando nosotros decimos eh, como decimos mira y crees que le moleste al jefe. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, no sé porque aquí aquí decimos te molesta mm -hmm. entonces tenemos alguna forma a veces de decir y crees que le moleste al jefe. Ah, ok, ok. Uh, en este caso como ya estas son preguntas directas, ¿verdad? Sería sí, otro formato. Ajá, déjame ver. A lo me, bueno, a lo mejor ese, ese sería otro, otro tema. Uh -huh. okay. um, uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. Hacer, si quieres te voy a preparar el tema para mañana con el show y que ya sería para eso, ¿verdad? Ok, Porque, no, no problem. No, no pero, pero está bien que me lo mencionaste. Te lo voy a preparar. Para, lo que pasa es que ya llevamos 40 minutos. <risa> no, okay, excuse me. Take advantage, ok. But tomorrow, yeah. eh, tomorrow vamos a ver el show del wood y vamos a utilizar esa para tercera persona. Ok, Marlon. Ya me dejaste tarea. Me llega, me llega. Ok. So, uh, vamos a avanzar porque necesitamos. You didn't take assistance. Yes, that's why. Because we're going to this. So, okay. meanwhile, you, 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 you prepare yourself with your opinion. I'm going to check the, the system. Okay, so thank you, thank Diego, for remembering me. Bien, vamos con, where should government spend more money on? ¿Dónde debería de destinar o gastar el dinero los gobiernos? If you want to talk about this country, it's okay. But in general, I think there are some areas, more important areas, in which the government should help, definitely. Okay, so that's it. Um, let's see. Say hello. Hi, I'm present. I'm alive. I'm breathing. Eh, Ana Mercedes. Present. Nice. Andrea. I'm here. Good. Carmen. Present. Good. Claudia. Eh, Clau. Present. Ah, no, si era Carolina. Claudia. <laughs> Present, teacher. Perfect. Perfect. Christian. Present. Good. Um, Alex. Present. Good. Diana. Present. Perfect. Diego. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Um, Dorita. Present. Nice. Edgar. Present, teacher. Good. Helen, no. Helen is not here. And Carla, no here either. Present. Ah, Carla. Te había visto. Hello, Carla. Good evening. I'm sorry. And let's see, Kevin. No. Ah, sí, ahí está. <laughs> ok, I'm sorry. Leslie, no. Marlon, yes, right, Marlon? Yes. Good present. one. Susie. Present. Susie. And Veronica. Present, teacher. Ok, perfect. So we're going to start with, uh, are you ready, Andrea? Or Claudia Diaz? I'm ready. Ok, go ahead. Solo que como vine tarde la hice cortita. Dale, lo que salga del Cora. Go ahead. Bye. Cora of your heart. Um, dice, in, in education, in health, 
and job creation. Okay. Education and health, right? Mm -hmm. Both, both. Uh, thank you. I think uh, both of them are uh, like the most important, especially nowadays that we have this pandemic issue, right? Thank you. Okay, uh, Claudia, and then we're having Mercy. Okay. Gover governments should spend more money to sponsor more job opportunities to reduce the pobre poverty. Poverty. Mm -hmm. No sé cómo se dice poverty. 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 Yeah, poverty. Of our uh, poverty. The poverty of our country. Okay. That's fine. And I consider that it is important because nowadays, and not only nowadays, it is not currently, since a lot of years ago, uh, we have always, uh, well, we always have had problems with the, with the jobs, right? With, uh, well, that's a problem, not only uh, on professions, but also on occupations in general. Thank you, Claudia. Okay, merci, and then Kevin. Okay, in my opinion, the government should spend more on human capital, strengthen K productive sectors to achieve greater ground. In our country, there is a low, there is low level of investment due to low pro productivity, violence, skills deficiencies etc okay yes and that is some of the lacks lacks significa carencia l a c k lack lack of eh, la carencia de algo yes we lack of that in special investment thank you marcy mm, but next kevin and then we're going with um marlo okay i think that in education in the people who might need a home. Okay. Okay. In education and, and homeless. Homeless is people, uh, well, yeah, homeless is a word or it means people who don't have house. Homeless. Cuando vean la palabra less, significa que es carente de eso. Okay. Por ejemplo, homeless. ¿Verdad? Es como que no tiene homeless. Es como que less es algo que, pues, carece de. Y también esa palabra, lack of, por ejemplo, lack of opportunities. And lack of comprehension. Ok, como yes. Como la canción de death. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. I didn't remember that. Okay, thank you for remembering that. Ok, um, Marlon. Yeah, uh, I think the governments uh, uh, should spend more money in improving all the all the infrastructure, all the all the common spaces mm -hmm. like parks. Uh, uh, I don't know um, uh, the. ¿Cómo sería espacio de recreación, teacher? Yes, recreation spaces or playground spaces. playground spaces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, uh, improve that uh, to to give us a uh, um, a better quality of life of life, like uh, citizens. Darnos una mejor calidad de vida como ciudadanos. I think that that's um, something necess necessary or necessary. Como es? Necessary. 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 Mm -hmm. I think it's necessary uh, for for being better person, everyone. And mental health. Yeah, yeah, and mental health. And, and that's uh, uh, um, hand by hand uh, with, uh, with uh, education, mm -hmm. with uh, um, culture, even. Mm -hmm. The arts and the culture. Arts, yes, yes. I think, I think that's, uh, uh, that's the, the things in that the governments should have to spend more money. 
Thank you. And and talking about that, if we refer to downtown or urban areas where there are a lot of uh, residentials, um, they don't have like those kinds of spaces. So it is very common that people go and spend time on malls or supermarkets or something like that because they don't have like that um, space, that's physical, that physical space. So it is uh, quite necessary even to develop culture, arts, and some other, even sports. Why not? Sports yes. is so important. Okay. Yes, teacher. Thank you, Mike. That's uh, my opinion. Thank you. Good one. Veronica, are you ready? And then we go yes. with, uh, um, let's see, Alex, if he's ready. Mm -hmm. Dorita. Ah. Veronica, I'm sorry. Road, road construction, health and education. Health programs. Mm -hmm. Health programs, definitely. Programs. Even, even uh, since, um, since a baby is born, should exist programs for nutrition, for having uh, like physical and, and mental health, and for, a, for, well, for that stage that they set up, right? And of course, psychology, psychology, uh -huh. psychology, psychology. Uh, yes, service and all those. Uh, well, it is quite, well, it is so important to have like uh, mental health, but uh, sometimes it is not just necessary some, what, some spaces or programs, but psychologists. So, thank Rehabilate, you. Rehabilitation. Rehabilitation Station centers, but focus on reinsertion, really reinsertion. Uh, reinsertion and program in reinsertion. It is not yes. just uh, teaching a person a skill, no solo mostrarle una habilidad or, or, or an occupation, but, um, uh -huh. but uh, working. Working, on, working, uh, exact, exactly. On the brain or how he or she, uh, what, sees the life, so. Yes, yes. Thank you. Perfect. And who's next? Who's next? Alex, right? I think that in education and in general, just. Uh, justice. Justicia. No. Just. Uh, trabajo, creo que empleo. Uh, jobs. 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 Yes. Uh, jobs. Mm -hmm. Yes. And. We need more, well, different kind of jobs and more paid jobs. If uh, consider that even the salary have like a, like it has increased and incremental, but it is not that much. So uh, the basic things are not cheap. No son baratas, lo, lo básico. So well, that's why uh, it is kind of necessary to have a well different kind of jobs and even why not another increment. Okay, we continue and uh, to advance because we need to, to cover some other topics, some other content. We have to, how to use commands to order or tell someone to do something. Esa palabra order, como que no mucho se escucha pesada, but let's see. To order or to tell someone to do something. When we have commands, we say, please write a check. Who, who, who writes check? Veronica, right? Vero, you, you write checks, right? You prepare checks, right? Okay. Yes. Okay, every day, right? Every day. So your boss may say, uh, please write a check for uh, X, um, Enterprise, for una empresa X. So you do it or for a specific person. Okay, nice. Uh, also, uh, we may say, please send a memo, a memo, or please MBA. check the report. Mm -hmm. Please uh, supervise the employees. Please go to a meeting. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So we have five. Let's see how many do you remember? Vamos a ver cuáles de esas recuerdan. Um, Diego, do you remember one from the ones that I have already said? Uh, sorry, teacher. I, ah, you were, I okay, okay. That. No problem, no problem. I know that Carla has the answer. 
Okay, Carlita. Um, supervision. Okay, please supervise. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Andrea and then Dorita. Please send a memo. Mm, Dorita, then Carolina. Please write a report. Okay, a report. Yes, Dorita, thank you. Okay, Carolina, Carolina, quiero gasolina, and then Susi. Please go to the meeting. Mm, good one. Susi. Please write the chat. Please write chat. Carmen, do you remember another? Thank you, Susi. Ya le dijeron todas, teacher. No, really. <laughs> la que yo me acordaba es la de go to a meeting. Please oh. go to a meeting. Write a check, no me dijeron. Sí, Susi le dijo. Yo se lo acabo de decir. Ah, es que estoy enamorada. Ok. Please write the check. Please send a memo. Please check the report. Please supervise the employees. Please go to a meeting. Ok. Ah, pues si están perdonados. Les perdono los pecados. Ok. So. To continue, uh, we have a pair work. Tenemos un trabajo de pareja. Ok. So I need you. Aquí dice. Ok. Brainstorm es lluvia de ideas. Brainstorm. Ok. So when we say brainstorm. Six things your classmates boss needs him her to do tomorrow. ¿Qué es lo que necesita tu jefe que hagas mañana? But we're going to do something. Write three things on your own. Escriban estas primeras tres son las que ustedes necesitan que el jefe, bueno, ustedes consideran, you consider, you think, because you know your boss, uh, you already know what he or she is going to ask you to do tomorrow. ¿Qué le va a pedir hacer mañana? Mm -hmm. ¿Ser felices? I don't think so. So, they're going to ask you to, to check the inventory, to send emails, to check the product, supervise the merchandise, um, supervise the, pro, the, the, the projects, okay? Schedule a meeting, okay? Great three. Escriban tres and you are going to share with a partner. Van a compartirles con un compañero. Ok. So I'm going to give you like. So, o sea, tres nuestro compañero y tres nosotros. Yeah, yeah. The first one okay. are yours. Las primeras tres son de ustedes. Escriban. ¿Qué creen que le va a pedir? Le va a pedir que ustedes hagan. Por ejemplo, write a report, uh, attend a client, or call customers. Ok. So that's it. No es necesario que escriban el, el, el cuadro. Solo escriban tres cosas que le va a pedir su jefe mañana. Si creen que le va a pedir que, que se tomen vacaciones. I don't think so. Okay, see you in a couple of minutes.
Por favor, por favor, llama a los clientes que puedas. A todos los clientes que a sea A todos posible. los clientes que puedas. O a todos los que puedas, ajá. In the morning. Eh, ok, eh, dijo to call a meeting of the? Of the sales. Ajá. Ah. At 5 p.m. in the morning. In number three. Maybe he called us, asked me to go to another branch. Other? Branch. Mm -hmm. Ahí está, ya entró el pitch. Hello, how are you doing? Good. Sí, Good. Uh, solo la, la tres no sé qué, qué ponerle. ¿Qué te dice tu corazón? Va, eh, yo le puse <risa> cover de coworker. Ok, but uh, it is. What are you going to do tomorrow? ¿Qué cosa vas a hacer mañana? That are you eh, should. Va, yo más que todo estoy como de digitador, digitizer. Mm, eh, oh, ok. Pero, Digamos que me están dando como una oportunidad de, de moverme a otra área. Entonces, en, okay. me, a veces hay días que me mueven para otra sucursal. Ok, o so let's suppose. Las ventas. Uh -huh. But you do the same things. Haces lo mismo. The same functions. No, es otra cosa. Ok. Área de, okay. De so let's imagine, let's imagine that you're going to have in another area tomorrow. So... Your boss may ask you to do something different. Tú puedes pedir que hagas algo diferente. Yes. Remember, use your creativity. Okay. Uh, number two uh, is algo obvio. <laughs> Let it work. Okay. Que trabaje. Yes. Y la no no hay que más poner. Vaya. Pero haces otras cosas, ¿verdad? En, la, en las otras áreas. Podría ser, podría ser eh, sales products o podría ser uh -huh. uh, elegí tres de las funciones que de las load, todas que vos hagas. Podría ser load, load product. Ok. Load, load product. Eso. Ok, go ahead. That's fine. Uh, Product. Okay. See you. Bye. -bye. Hello. Oh, teacher. 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 Yes. Y para decir Dorita considera que hará. Vaya, vamos a hacerlo diferente, pero puede ser. Eh, para responder. Sí, sí. Ya, ya le voy a mostrar cómo se va a decir, pero puede. Si lo quieres decir así sería. Dorita considers she will que ella she will uh, prepare report she will place uh, products she ya no will. se le agrega do al final no verdad está de más no no, no. solo sería sería Dorita consider she will uh -huh. okay. considers She will. She will. She will. Okay. okay, good. I'm sorry. I think you have finished and that's fine. Conmigo mismo estaba hablando con mi conciencia. So I... Uh, you are ready, more than ready. Thank you for completing the homework as fast as you can. So this is the answer that I need you to do or to give, okay? The answer uh, should have this, mm, this like follow this sentence. If we're talking about a person, we're going to use the personal noun, okay? Uh, lo, 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 lo. I'm sorry, the possessive nouns. Vamos a utilizar el, el, el nombre posesivo cuando le agregamos la apóstrofe y la S, cosa que ya lo saben, ¿verdad? Acuérdense, Victoria's Secret, eh, Janira's Salón, Carla's, mmm, Fabio's, or whatever. So, 
This is uh, an example. Este es un ejemplo de cómo necesito que me lo diga. Uh, for example, Mercy, you were, uh, who was your, your, your classmate? ¿Quién fue tu compañero de clases? Dorita. Ok, Dorita me dice, Mercy's boss wants her to, ¿qué quiere decir? El jefe de Mercy quiere que ella, y puede decir, wants her to check the mail, check the product, supervise, whatever. And in the case of the, uh, if it is a, a, a man, you can say, uh, for example, Kevin, who was your, your pair? Diana, right? No. ¿Quién fue el, el, el de Kevin? Carmen. Carmen. <clears throat> okay, Carmen may say, Kevin's boss wants him to, y ahí dicen lo que ustedes necesitan, bueno, lo que quiere que haga el jefe para el día de mañana. So we're going to start with um, Susie. Okay, Susie. Okay. Carla's boss wants her to check. Eh, teacher, solo que aquí yo no sé si es primero the expiration date, dates, or the, the day, the date, expiration. The expiration date. Okay. <clears throat> ah, aprovechando algo. Uh, cuando ustedes les piden que les piden que les manden un reporte, se puede decir de dos maneras. I'm sorry. I'm going to do it here. Cuando es algo escrito o algún trabajo, se puede decir due date is the due date es como la fecha límite. Si tienen que enviar un reporte, si tienen que enviar, if you want to send a, a report or inventory, un inventario. So the due date is on Friday. El fecha, la fecha límite es, y también se puede decir. The deadline. The deadline is. Eh, ejemplo, ustedes tienen que mandar un inventario. Or you want to, to send a proposal. Tienen que entregar. Cuando ustedes tienen que entregar algo. It can be by email or physically in paper. So the due date is. Or the deadline is. And this applies for homework as well. También funciona para trabajos, para, para tareas, okay? So the due date or the deadline es como la fecha límite. Eso quiere decir, okay? Talking about this. Okay, so uh, Carla, go ahead. And then we go with Diego. Okay, teacher. Okay. Um. Susie's boss wants here to check an inventor. Okay, check inventor. Okay, thank you. Okay, Diego, go ahead. Okay, okay. Andrea's boss wants her to check the inventory. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, uh, Andrea, and then Carolina. Uh, Diego's boss wants him to call the mass clients that you can. He can. He can. Mm -hmm. Most clients, he can. Wow. So the more, the better. Right, Diego? Okay. Yes. Okay. That's it. Uh, wonderful. Carolina, Carolina, and then Mer uh, No, Carolina, go ahead. Alex boss wants him to send new emails. Okay, uh, Alex and then Veronica. Alex. Hello, hello. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Claudia. Mm -hmm. Claudia's. First, in inventory review order. Okay, thank you, Alex. Seria, Claudia's boss wants her uh, to, wants her to, First in inventory review order. Okay, review inventory, thank you. Okay, Claudia. Mm -hmm. Okay, estuvo Carolina o Claudia? ¿Quién estuvo con él? Claudia. Él dijo Claudia, pero se refería a Carolina. Okay. Okay. okay, Carolina, then you go, Claudia. Okay, Carol. 
Ah, no, tú, tú ya, ya, ya pasaste. Ya se lo dije. Es sí. cierto, entonces sería Claudia. Ah, no, dije Verónica. I'm sorry. Ok. Creo que Verónica iba. Ok, Verónica, go ahead. Teacher, uh -huh. el nombre no lo, no lo vi del compañero. No te creo, ni leo, creo, como dicen mis estudiantes. Uh -huh. Marlon. Marlon. Ah, Marlon, uh -huh. ¿cómo me te olvidar ese Marlon. nombre? Marlon. Marlon no was one, what's him to go a project. Go a project, what's him to go, okay. Marlon's, okay. Okay, Marlon, you go. You go. Of course, uh, Veronica's boss wants her to uh, make a memo to the inventory department. Mm -hmm. Fine, perfect. Okay, Claudia. Okay, Christian boss when he's to check the email. Ok, ok. Christian's boss wants, ¿verdad? Hay que mencionar once, la S. Uh -huh. Wants, okay. yes. Okay, what's him? Ok. Eh, Christian, you go. And then, eh, Dorita. Claudia's boss wants her to write the report. Ok, perfect. Ok, Dorita. Mercy boss wants her to Take customer order and item provider. Okay, nice. Merci. And then we go with Carmen. Dorita Boss was once here to write a report. Write a report. Good. Carmen. Kevin Boss wants him to support other work area. Okay, nice. Kevin. Carmen's boss wants you to go to a meeting. Meeting. To a meeting. Nice. ¿Quién se me queda? Anybody? No, creo que todos pasamos. Okay. We move to another activity. Sí, nadie se me queda. Okay. Now that we know how to express this, we're going to, yes, listening. So we're going to listen a paragraph. Uh, it's a briefly description of a person. It's just one person. And tomorrow is going, we're going to have another description, okay? So uh, please try to identify the main ideas or some details, words or vocabulary that you recognize so you can take notes, okay? As much as possible, I know that you are accustomed with the, the words that you're going to listen. Ya están acostumbrados a varias palabras que van a escuchar. Um, this is uh, another teacher that uh, sent me the this Just let me check. I'm going to play twice. Okay, here we go. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend the conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend the meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Okay, let's listen again. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend the conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend the meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Okay. I consider uh, this was not that difficult, right? This was... Uh, clear enough. So let's uh, listen to Carla. Did you identify any word or phrase? Um, 
Eh, Any word or eh, phrase se for llama, me? Eh, Name? Es manager. Mm -hmm. eh, my name is a Wilson. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Very good information. What about Kevin? Are you ready, Kevin? Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so, okay. Every day I check emails in the company. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, Claudia. Okay, yo escuché the company M plus meeting in the morning. Mm -hmm. Always in manager. Okay, nice. Andreita. Uh, name, John Wilson. Uh, every day I check emails, human resource, resources, managers, potential employees, attend a meeting, and always busy. Okay, fine. Dorita, thank you, Andrea. Your name, your name is Wilson. Okay. In the office, in the morning, e afternoon. Thank you, Christian. A manager company meeting afternoon always visit potential employees in my company. Good, Susie. Thank you, Christian. Attend the meetings and always have events. Events. Mm -hmm. Events. Thank you. And what about you, Marlon? Uh, uh, her, his name is John Wilson. Yeah, good. He, he human resources manager. And he's always busy. Uh, he's talking talking about everything he 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 do. He, he does. He does. He, he does. In in her in his company. Okay, perfect. Veronica, do you remember uh, any other word or phrase? Potential employees, mm -hmm. human resource managers, offices, and meeting. Okay, fine. Carmen. Uh, your name is uh, his name. John his Wilson. name. Mm -hmm. A working. Uh, money, uh, uh, in our office, he is manager human resources, meeting in the morning, always have events. Uh, Fine, Diego. Okay, and he said that his name is John Wilson. He works in an office, like a, a human resources manager. Every day, he checks emails for the company, and then he answers the phone and talk with potential employees. And he makes his calls in the morning and often in the afternoons. And there are always events in the company, and he is always busy. Okay, perfect. So here we have. Thank you, Diego. Here we have this information, and so. Um, he is John Wilson, right? We're going to listen to the to uh, the audio so we can compare. Así que nosotros podemos comparar, okay? So listen to the pauses, the period or commas that this person respects, verdad? Respeta bastante los puntos y las comas, okay? So let's listen. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend the conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend the meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Okay, now that we have this information, we're going to complete this. We're going to say true or false, okay? True if the sentence is correct, if the sentence has 
like the right information, but if it is false, we're going to change the sentence, right? Si vamos a decir si es verdadero o falso. Si es eh, falso, cambiamos la oración, okay? So be ready to pick one of these uh, sentences. We have from one to seven. So the first person is going to be Edgar. Are you ready, Edgar? And then Alex. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What number? Number. Sería de completar, verdad? Ajá. Según el... Yes, yes. Me vas a decir true si es verdadero o false si es falso. Y si es falso, ya vamos a cambiar la oración, ¿ok? So, I write, uh, in number seven. Number seven. Uh -huh. he, uh, he has to go to a conference on July 26th. 20... 22nd. Uh, mm -hmm. It's true. Yes, definitely, my friend. Good one. Okay, Alex, uh, your turn. Alex Bogram. Okay, I think he is not Hello. ready. Hello. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ready? Bye. He never he never uh, attends meeting in the afternoon. Okay, he never attends meeting in the afternoon. He never attends meeting in the afternoon. Can you see it? Puede verlo? To check. Mm -hmm. oh. Mm. Mm, no, eh, ¿Cómo se dice falso? False, false. False. Como el amor de tu ex. So, false. <laughs> Aquí podemos decir, false. ¿Es cierto? That's true. That's true. Ok. So, not, uh, not so often, not so often in the afternoon. Uh -huh. O sea que no es tan a menudo. Uh -huh. eh, he never attends meetings in the afternoon. Uh -huh. Yeah. He does. Así he que podemos does. decirle, en lugar de not so often, podemos decirle mm, hardly ever. He hardly ever. Porque si decimos never, es nunca y él sí lo hace. Okay? So he hardly ever attends meetings in the afternoon. Ok. Eh, yeah. Verónica. And then Christian. And number one is false. Okay. His name is Wilson. Ok. Number one is John Wick, Wick, Wilkins, okay? He's John Wilson, thank you. Christian. Uh, number six. Number six. Sería false. He usually he, has events in the company. Sería, he always has even uh, mm -hmm. the events. He, uh, he always has events, yes. Good one, Christian. Okay, um, we're going now with Mercy and Susie. Number two. Number two. He writes reports every day. Uh -huh. False. False. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. So the answer is? False. Ah, oh, false. Definitely false. He never. Sí. That's sería he never. Uh -huh. He never, he never uh, writes reports. Porque nunca lo hace, okay? Thank you. Susie? Number four. Number four. He often attends meeting in the morning. Mm -hmm. mm, in my opinion, is true. Mm -hmm. Generally? Mm -hmm. Podría Sería, relacionarse mm -hmm. con often. Mm -hmm. Yes. He generally... He generally attends minutes in the morning. Okay, thank he you. generally attends minutes. Yes, of course. And the last one is going to be Carolina. Number three, Carol. It's true. He never answers phone calls and talk to customers. Okay, it's true. Es verdadero, como el verdadero amor de show. Okay, fine. And where should, thank you, Carol, where should governments Spend more money on donde debería de ir el piso de sus taxes, de todos sus impuestos. Ok. We need the. We need Dorita's opinion. Ok, Dorita, tell me. Yeah. 
And then Diego. Uh, in education at all levels. In all levels, all levels, okay? On education, all levels. Thank you, Florita. Okay, Diego, you go, and after Diego, Diana. Okay, okay. I am convinced that the government, or at least our government, should spend more money in education. I agree with all my my, my classmates. Um, in education, because I consider that this is the 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 way to let behind the ignorance. The last one can be the cancer of a society, and of course of the whole nation too. Once ignorance is minimized, and disappears problems like gangs, poverty, mm -hmm. and even pollution, because. Uh, because when somebody receives education, change the the point of view yeah. of everything, and and your mind is liberated. Yes. And I'm not talking about to become a doctor or an engineer. Could it be enough to have education about social conscience? That's it. I think that's the base, social conscience, and it is not a matter just to have a profession but to be like a better human being, right? Because we live in this planet and we're destroying. Thank you, Diego. A very deep uh, opinion. I agree with you. Okay, let's listen to Diana. Diana is hiding. Se me está escondiendo, Dianita. Ya se cambió el uniforme. ¿Qué, Dianita? No, Diana. I think, I think that in education hurt the elderly and mm -hmm. that um, this was of quality. Okay, yes, definitely. Escuché elderly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, yes. A, lo, a, los, a los adultos mayores. Ajá, uh -huh. a los ancianos. Mm -hmm. Yes. Adultos yes. mayores. Yes, perfect. Of course, I think uh, we don't have just to focus as Dorita said, not, not only children, but also uh, the elderly, yeah, and even medium age. When we say medium age, we refer to 30, 40, 50, yeah, that's it, that's a uh, good. Okay, so Susie, what about you, Susie? And after Susie, we're having uh, Claudia. The way I see it, uh, should be more in childhood and the education because they are the future and our, our reflection. Okay, they're going to become adults. Okay, they are babies, they are kids, but they're going to be the next fathers and mothers or maybe not necessarily parents, but they're going to be in church uh, uh, or providing positive or negative uh, input. Uh, to, to, to the country. Thank you, Susie. Okay, so we go, we go with Claudia and then Edgar. Uh -huh, Claudia. It's, uh, the topic, topic one, ya lo dije yo. Ah, entonces, ¿qué me hacía falta? Clau. Ay, se ríe. Como de malvada, de, de tipo de Rosa de Guadalupe, me imagino. Okay, so please turn the microphone on. Clau, Carolina. Okay, and we're going to wait a little bit. Ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Then Carmen. The government, the government is the money first in the education as well as keep a school with training teacher. Second, in the whole hospital with technology and certificate doctor. Mm. And finally, create a place for the homeless who have a place to sleep. Okay. A key word, una palabra clave, a key word that uh, Carolina said is uh, certifications. Nowadays, not only university or college degree are important, but also certifications, especially if you work with technology. 
right? Or you need some kind, well, any kind of certifications even to work in, in, in different enterprises. Así que las certificaciones son bastante importantes, especially if they are international, of course. That's it. And Carmen. And then Edgar. The government spend more money in education, improve quality, that all children are bilingual and have access to technology. Hmm. Thank you. That's fine. I agree. Okay, Edgar. And after Edgar, Christian. Mm -hmm. They should invest more in education and medicine or, or health for better cognitive uh, development and so that people um, to over, overcome, overcome, overcome. overcome. Uh -huh. uh, illnesses and cope. Okay. And cope. Perfect. I like cognitive. Education that it's about is related to mental processes. So they have to be well developed. Thank you, Edgar. Okay, uh, Christian and then Kar. In role in practice, in practice structure and to in education and also touring. Tourism, 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 uh -huh. mm -hmm. and also the social prevention. Mm -hmm. Okay, prevention, especially on violence, right? Any kind of violence, not only guns, but also violence against uh, women in general. But that's it, of course. Thank you, Christian and Carla. We finish with Carla. In education, mm -hmm. education and health. Education and health. Okay. And health. That's it. Yes. And as you mentioned, I always like to listen to all of your ideas. But let me tell you that education, it is not only from schools, but also a focus on family. Because if you have a kids a, like educated enough, they're not going to, to throw garbage in the street. They are not, not going to say, say nasty vocabulary to, to women on street. They say, tampoco van a decir palabras o esas en la calle a las mujeres. They're going to respect the, the, the public transportation. They're, they're, we're going to have different development in, in different areas, right? It is not just to have a, a profession or just to have more money. It is... Uh, like the society indeed like developed okay thanks a lot now we're having a worksheet and in this case expressing wishes you remember that we studied this on friday i guess it was on friday Creo que fue el viernes, ¿no? que le decía, i wish and and then you have to say the verb in past so it seems i wish i had three dogs uh, estoy diciendo, um, deseo tener tres perros o desearía tener tres perros. I wish I were a doctor. Desearía ser un doctor. Honestly, no. I, I, I wouldn't like to be a doctor, but it's an example. So, in this case, uh, we're not going to use was. No vamos a utilizar was, sino que were. No recuerdo quién me preguntó, pero para todo, el verb be va a ser were. Siempre, were. It, it doesn't matter if the subject is singular or plural where is the one that we're going to use okay so i wish i had mm, so here we have some examples um in lugar de can't podemos utilizar couldn't okay uh, pero sería lo opuesto okay so we're going to try we're going to try and uh, later by later so maybe if we have carmen's First opinion. Eh, Recuerden que siempre vamos a poner I, a, I wish, como es el I, I wish, siempre va a ser así. Uh -huh. Okay. I wish. What, what number? I, number one. Okay. I wish, uh -huh. y ahí como está el don't, tengo que decir don't. 
Como dice, ahí dice, no tengo un carro. Entonces, tienes que decir, ah, desearía I, tener I un carro. I wish I had a car. Yes. I wish I had a car. A Tesla car. Why not? Yeah. Okay. And what about Diego? And after Andreita, para que se active como el marihuana. Okay. Okay, number three. I'm at work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, wish I, I wish I were in the beach. I were? At the beach. At the beach, at the beach, I'm sorry. Not necessary, but okay. Good one. Uh, Diana? Andrea, sorry, Andrea, Andrea. No se no es que la mujer es. No, they get angry when they mention another name. Es number two. Number two. Mm -hmm. I wish play. I wish I. I play the piano. Mm -hmm. I wish I play the piano. What would you say? I wish. Ah, yeah. I could play, but I wish I play. Yeah, it's a successful. Thank you. Okay, uh, what about um, Mercy and Susie? Okay, are you ready? No. Susie, no. Yep. Okay, yep, yep. what number? Uh, number six. Number six. Uh, I wish I, I had a new shoes. Okay, I wish I had. Solo sería new. New. New, okay, perdón. Sí, porque es plural. O sería a pair of shoes. Pero, ah, pero la, bueno, creo que a usted le gusta tener bastantes pares de zapatos, right? Or not, not necessary. Oh, yes, Susie. Uh, sí, entre más mejor. <laughs> el glamour ante todo. Okay, nice. Okay, uh, what about Kevin? Are you ready with one, Kevin? Yes, John. And then Mercy, okay. What number? Number nine. Number nine. I wish I can drive. Okay, pero vamos a utilizar el pasado. Bueno, en lugar de can, vamos a utilizar could, okay? No, I, I wish I can drive. Yeah, nice. Mercy. Um... Number four. Number four. Es que me ganó Kevin la mía. Ah, pues si ¿sí te dormiste en clase. Ah, camarón que se duerme lo hace en ceviche. Ok. Y aquí, en la number four, ¿cómo sería? Uh... Vaya, te voy a dar tiempo. I'm going to give you time. Ok. Mm, what about Christian? Are you ready? Diana? Eh, tal vez, quiero ver. Ok. Okay. Ooh. Number eight. Number oh, eight. Badiana. No, dale vos. Okay. <laughs> eh, sería, I wish I has or have. Ah. Que ser. Has. Eh, mm -hmm. Time. To read. The re to read a lot, lot of uh, books. Lots of books. Okay. Thank you. Lots, se recuerda que les dije que significaba mucho, ¿verdad? Diana, and then, um, no. Diana. Okay, I think you're having problems. Mercy, are you ready? Number seven. Okay, number seven. Ay, las dos quieren el siete. I wish. Hey. Hey. Then. Okay. Uh, rifado, I wish rifado. I call. Lo siento, Dianita. I wish I call. Ah. Uh -huh. Ask for to go on holiday. Okay, afford. Vaya, afford es tener la suficiente dinero, verdad, para ir a hacer algo. Okay, Dianita. Thank you, Mercy. Diana, te voy a ayudar, okay? Okay. Diana, four, um, five, or ten? Ten. Ten, okay. 
I wish, I, ¿cómo sería? I wish, mm -hmm. I... Aquí vamos a utilizar my laptop. I wish my laptop. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo my que te dije que íbamos a utilizar en pasado? Del verb be. Lo dije. Where? Yes. Where's Ajá. Aquí vamos a utilizar weren't. Where? Broken. Where? No, no estuviese quebrado. Ok, thank you. Ok, uh, Marlon, do you want to try? ¿Quieres probar, Marlon? Uh, number five. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm, I think we can say, I wish I were healthy. Yes. Ser saludable. Thank you. Ok, Carolina, could you help me with four? A ver si no me equivoco. Dale, dale. Go ahead. You can do it. Eh, I wish uh, was winter. Casi. Dije que no. para it, que para no se utiliza el was, se utiliza. Where. Yes. I wish it were winter. Yes. I wish it were summer. Yes. Yes. It can be Severano. I wish it were. Uh, Pueden decir autumn, summer, and that's it, fall. Ok. Thank you. Teacher, entonces, idle significa enfermo. Eh, Ill, Ill es un sinónimo de sick. De sick. Aquí le pongo. Ill. Ill, o como que dijéramos sick. Ay. Yo voy a poner sick del otro, del sick and destroy. No, ill de, de, es como sick, ok. Uh -huh. Me permito. Ok, eh, Susi, ¿lo copiaste? Yep. Yep, yep, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, ok. 17 minutes and we finish. 17 minutes, ya casi, ya casi. Do you think childhood is the happiest time of your life? Why? Why not? Vamos a ver su niñez. Yes. Yes. Veronica, you say yes. yes. Why? Why, Veronica? Because there were more games in which I personally interacted with my friends. Personal. It was socializing, right? The games were very di different. No, no cell phone, no cell phone. No cell phone. Interact personally. Yes. Mika, el ladrón librado. Yes. Condelero. Uh, uh, Condelero. Yes. Cantarito. Yes. 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 All of those, all of those. So uh, it, that's why uh, our friends uh, used to knock the door and say, hey, come out, get out to, to play, right? Yes. O le decían a, a su mamá, déle da permiso de, yes. de, de salir. Hoy le van a pedir permiso, pero para otra cosa. So, thank you, Veronica. Thank you very much. Okay, and what about Andrea? Are you ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Because I didn't have to work. There were, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> there were no bills to pay. I could sleep as long as I wanted. <laughs> well, I think that's that, that's what you were happy and you didn't know. Era feliz y no lo sabías. Cabal. Hoy sufrí. Okay, thank you, Andrea. What about Marlon? What you what you have to say, Marlon, about it? Um, I can say uh, I can agree with my friends. But I think. Uh, Oh, yes, yes, you agree. Yes, I, I, I yes can and say no. <laughs> is, is the best uh, uh, time of our life because we had no responsibilities and we had no stress. <laughs> we, we No, no pain, <laughs> no, no back pain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we, we, we could, uh, could, we could, we could. Play, uh, mm -hmm. We could, mm -hmm. we could play uh, a lot of games, like Veronica said. Uh, 
uh, we, we could socialize with other friends. But the main, the main uh, reason? Reason is that we had no responsibilities like, like now. Like taxes, today. no taxes, no hay impuestos. <laughs> Yes. Right. yes. That, that's that's no no taxes. So that that's the reason. For that, me. That's the reason you consider. Yes. Okay. Fine. Yes. Fine. Consider it, it, it is good one. Okay. Um, uh, maybe money can buy some happiness. <laughs> <laughs> like similar to the, the last topic was we were talking. Yeah. Yes. But, yes. Well, we and, needed and so, we and needed money. And and, and and a little a little of happiness. It's called regia, it's called business. <laughs> so yes, it's, it's called beer. Wow. You can remember a lot of things. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. No COVID. No COVID. Yes, we didn't no have COVID. COVID. We call no. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, yeah. yeah, that's a lot of reasons. Okay, thank you. Salud, Veron. Perfondo. Okay. So we're going now with Susie. Uh of course, that yes, I consider that ch childhood is the best time of life because we really love, for example, true love toward our parents. Uh, secondly, it is sensually forgiven, uh, but the way we are more innocent. And now you are not innocent, Susie. You're, ah, uh, okay. <laughs> por supuesto que no. Of course, no. <laughs> Okay, you're not innocent anymore. I'm sorry for you, but I am. I'm still, I'm innocent. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Tranquila, Andreita. Carmen. Ya me quería reventar, Andrea. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, if childhood is the happiest time because there are no worries, it is easy to make friends and they spend playing. Easy to make friends and Susie says something else. Uh, we forgive uh, easily. Perdonamos con, con más facilidad. Because the, we get angry, but there are short periods of time. Nowadays, we get angry and it is, like, it is more difficult to forgive because we remember the pain yeah. we received. So, Dice, dice Vero Cantarito, y dice mi hijo, ¿y qué es eso? Dice. Yes, well, Cantarito is when two, two, two of your friends used to carry you. Te, te cargaban, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Oh, ok. Yep. Oh. oh, no, Cantarita no es eso. <laughs> ¿Qué es Cantarito? Cantarito es que te pones en esta postura y te agarras de los brazos. En, ah, like this. Acá. Ah, como Marlo. Pero te agarraban dos, uno sí, a cada lado. Sí, yes, eso es Cantarito. Yo recuerdo que se ponían así como las manos así, así, y bueno. Yo me recuerdo que una vez... Ese es un cantarito cuadrado. <risa> no, teacher, ese es la A mí silla. una vez se me cayó un cantarito. <risa> la silla, sí, eléctrica, ok. ¿Qué pasó? Marlo tiene un cantarito, pero de barro. Dice. Se me cayó un cantarito y, y era un primo. <risa> se le cayó un diente. <risa> ok, y se quedó ese cantarito. <risa> Bien, hoy te salió caro ese cantar. Ok. That scars or that, that scar tissues, como la canción de Red Hot Chili Pepper, son cicatrices. Okay, so, and the scars or the scar tissues remain, or re, yeah, remembers you that you had those experiences. And most of men, well, there are some girls too, but most of men have a lot of scars on the, on the, in the elbows, the elbow, the knees, and a rodillas, creo que algo de ustedes tienen, right? On the knees, yes. I have one in the forehead, like this. Tengo una acá. Yeah, so that's how. Ahí dice Susi, que también tiene ahí. Ah, pero vas a ver por qué. Okay. A ver dónde andabas. Ahí jugando. Susi. Okay, let's listen to Carolina and then Christian. Uh, of course. Mm -hmm. it, it's one of the best stage of my life. I have no worries of or responsibility as big as now. As big as now. Yeah, maybe you have some responsibility. You have to clean your house. You make your bed, right? To clean your, 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 bath, to your bedroom. But nowadays you have more and more responsibilities. Okay, Christian, and then we're going with Mercy. 
Uh, yo opino que sí. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because there are no worries uh, or responsibilities. Or ¿Cómo se dice responsabilidad? Yeah, responsibilities or duties. Duties. Uh -huh. duties. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think no. we agree. We all agree on that. Thank you. Mercy and Claudia. My opinion has been part of my happiness, enjoy innocent games in having my parents, but my happiest time is still enjoying my daughter in my oh, family. So you remember your childhood by, by watching your daughter, right? Your daughter, yes. That's wonderful. Listen, innocent games. Innocent games, when you turn like a teenager, como se vuelven unos adolescentes, there are not innocent games. There are another kind of games, right? So if you smile, it's because you remember. Okay. Pecadores, simples. Okay. Claudia, and then we're going with Dorita. Okay. Uh, my opinion. Definitely, definitely, for definitely, definitely, mm -hmm. definitely, because mm -hmm. in there are no major worry and obliga obligation, mm -hmm. no mandatory things. That's it. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Okay, Dorita, and then we're going with Diego. Yes, because I have friends and we got along very well. Uh, you yes you uh, we got along no llevamos bien we got along very well that's it okay Diego and then we go with Diana okay I'm sorry guys but I'm not agree with you <laughs> why not <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I don't know I don't think so however it is a beautiful stage in our lives but um, in my case I think that that my best time in my life was the in the high school oh, okay because, yeah i met a lot of friends and some of them are still being important persons in my life you know what i mean nowadays yes yeah oh no no the other ah okay okay i got it yes yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Definitely. the first love Malia, Picaro. Exactly. Yeah, the first love yes why not when we fell in love by like the first time that's beautiful yeah yeah but but and good yeah, friends right exactly good but friends. if i have the opportunity to get back to my childhood mm -hmm. i don't think it twice you you would prefer to to get back to high school time yes and have more girlfriends okay yes <laughs> why not <laughs> no. no i mean i mean um it is really special when you come across, cuando te encuentras, when you come across with your, your uh, uh, yes, ex, ex partners, right? And that, that, that's wonderful when you have a, a reunion, porque es ya, ya no es una meeting, es a reunion with, mm -hmm. the, with those uh, well, yeah, friends. Yeah, it's wonderful. And you look different. Well, everybody happens. looks, everybody looks different. Some of them are bold. <laughs> some of them are are bigger. They they are unbelievable yeah. how how the the time flies. Yeah, the time is passing by and we don't notice it. Okay, so Diego the de, uh, like differs from the other days. Uh, he says that as high school, he well, that was the best time of his life. Well, okay, that that's good. Good opinion. Thank you, Diego. Okay, Diana. Okay. okay. And then, sure. then because uh, mm -hmm. I had not dead. You didn't ah deaths, deaths. Yes. Okay, yes. Deaths are like like illnesses, some common from like cancer. So the guys try to avoid deaths as much as you can. Um I know that it, it is quite difficult, but while you can please do it. Avoid them. Edgar, and then Alex. Uh, 
I do believe that childhood is the best part or of our life. Okay. It's the part uh, we are happiest without uh, realizing it. Uh, uh, I like I like the childhood uh, because uh, vacation every day. Mm. Uh, um, no, no, no responsibilities and no, 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 eh, pagos, ¿cómo podría ser? Sorry, no, ah, no, no hay, no hay que pagar nada, no, hay... Ajá, no, 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 what, Ajá, yeah, no obligation, money, Ajá, no. money, monetary obligations, okay, thank you, Edgar, mm -hmm. yes, I remember when we uh, had vacations in, in, in elementary school and we have like Felices vacaciones. I don't remember, but there were some cartoons. Eran como caricaturas. Yeah, that, that part was really nice because you knew for sure that you were free of homework. Estabas libre de, de tareas. Yes. Yeah. I don't remember the name of, of, of those cartoons, but well. Uh, okay. Um, Alex, are you ready? And Kevin? Yes, because I did not worry about anything or had obligations. Okay, yes, definitely, yes. Okay, and uh, Kevin and Carla. In my opinion, I think so. First, I just went to school and then went out to play with my friends. Second, I played in soccer teams and that, that, and that is something that I like it. Uh, well, uh, they, are, they were good times. And remember, at that time, you had time to do those things. Había tiempo para hacer eso, right? Now it's kind of difficult. Okay, so good. Thank you, Kevin. And Carla? Yes, because there is the responsibility. And, what, and we simply think we were happy. Okay, yes. And simple, we were very happy. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance list, guys. We had, well, I had a conversation for you, but we're not going to do it because well, there's no more time. Okay, so please say hello. Hi, I'm Britain. I'm alive. I'm in love, or whatever you want to say. I'm going to know that you are saying yes, you are there. So, Ana Mercedes. Present. Thank you, Andrea. I'm here. Good. Carmen. Present. Nice, Claudia. Claudia. Present. Nice, Carolina. Present. Nice, Christian. Present. Nice, Alexander. Present. Diana. Present. Diego. I'm breathing. That's good to know. Dorita. Present. Thank you, Dorita. Edgar. Hello. Hello there. Carla. Present. Fine. Kevin. Present. Good. Uh, Marlon. Present. Thank you. Susie. Hi. Hi. And we have Veronica. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, Caro, well, today we have a session, okay? Okay, por eso que te había arreglado el cabello. Yes. And after this, party, después de fiesta, va, después de fiesta. Okay, my friends, we finished, okay? Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, Good everybody. Night, everybody. Okay. Descansen, have rest. Okay, Carolina, Carolina. <laughs> okay, teacher. Tell me, tell, contame tus pecados. Bye, vamos okay. a confesar. <laughs> okay, tell me, um, do you have any topic that you want to have a review about? Revisión de algún tema? Uh, any difficult yes. vocabulary topic or what? Tell me. Yeah, ahorita lo que vamos a tocar, el mm -hmm. tema... Mm, Está costando bastante el wish. Ok. Ese. Uh -huh. 
Vale. Um, te voy a mostrar. I'm going to show you. Um, el viernes creo que vimos ese, ¿verdad? No, vimos, la vimos el 10 de agosto. ¿Martes? Martes lo vimos. Sí, martes. Sí, oh. 10 de agosto. Ok. Déjame ver si lo tengo. Es la cuarta clase. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ya ves, se anotó la fecha también. Claudita, yes, yes. Es que tengo un medio relajito aquí con esas diapositivas. Ay, Dios. Yes. Típico hombre de todo. No, el... pero siempre tengo ordenado, pero esta vez. Sí, la no, regué. Esta vez la regué. No, no, no. Bien. Para expresar los deseos, eh, más bien cuando tú deseas pedir un algo, ¿verdad? Desearía. Eso es como yo desearía, quiero. No la expreso. Ajá. Partamos de ahí. ¿Los deseos siempre se, se van a pedir a futuro? Sí, ¿verdad? En pasado. Vamos a utilizar el pasado para el futuro. Pero hay wish. Ah, el pasado para... Yo pero deseo. Wish significa yo... Ah. yo deseo. Wish. I wish. Ajá, es que yo lo había entendido mal. Yo desearía. Pero Así desearía no es futuro. Es como el te gustaría... Sería siempre en presente. En presente, solo que es un eh, se utiliza un modal auxiliary que es el would, pero igual. Eh, okay. Aquí es aquí, digamos que dice yo deseo. Imagínate que tenés el genio de la lámpara maravillosa. Entonces, yo deseo. Entonces, dices, I, I wish I have three dogs. Me gustaría tener tres perros. Eh, tenemos la otra opción. I wish I were an actor. Desearía ser un actor, aunque where es el pasado, no te referís al pasado, simplemente esa es la forma para que se entienda. ¿Ya? Ah, okay. Por eso, aquí dice I wish, siempre va a llevar I wish. Luego va a llevar el I y el verbo, aquí dice, ¿verdad? Siempre sería I wish. I. Y, I, y de ahí va el verbo, el verbo en pasado. En pasado. Ajá, aquí tenemos, mira, had, porque el presente es had. Este es had, ¿verdad? Y aquí tenemos were. Sabemos que en presente es am, ¿verdad? Aquí en teoría debería de ir was. ¿Verdad? Debería de ir. Ay, pero... y eso es lo que yo conjugué ahora. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. Pero igual, eh, como les decía, ya está. Se, fíjate que hay una canción de un grupo que se llama Pearl Jam. A mí me gusta bastante. La canción se llama así. Wishlist. Es una balada bien... Eh, bueno, mi voz es San Seguro, pues entonces, wishlist significa lista de deseos. Entonces, él comienza a pedir un montón de deseos, pero él siempre deseo de lo que él le gustaría hacer. Por ejemplo, me gustaría ser un alien, dice, me gustaría hacer una canción de radio, cositas así bien, bien metafóricas. Ahora, él no dice, I wish I were, dice, I wish I was, en todas. En todas dice, I wish I was. Pero es un inglés informal. Mm. Ya. O sea que no es gramaticalmente correcto, pero sí se entiende. Por ejemplo. Gramáticamente no es correcto. No, por ejemplo. I was. Sí. Por ejemplo, tú me, tú me dices, eh, teacher, tú querer comer pupusas ayote. Oí, tú querer comer pupusas ayote. Uh -huh. gramaticalmente no sé correcto porque sería no, teacher no. quiere comer o quieres comer pupusa de ayote no pupusa de ayote como tarzán ¿no? ajá entonces digamos que cuando no está gramatimal, gramáticamente correcto es cuando es como hablar como tarzán ya te voy a decir ajá pero se entiende entonces el word el word lo vamos a ocupar con cualquier cuando vaya el verb be, cuando vaya, eso, eso es lo, lo bonito, lo fácil. Cuando vaya el verb be, uh -huh. siempre vas a utilizar el word. Siempre. ¿Ya? Por ejemplo, si ves el is, el am y el are, siempre vas a usar el word. ¿El is? Uh -huh. Esto. Mira, siempre, 
siempre que veas el verb be, el verb be se divide en tres. Am, um, is, are. Entonces, siempre que veas cualquiera de esos, el where. Por eso es más fácil. Solo eso debes de saber. Debes de ya tener como claro eso. Uh -huh. Ajá. Que cualquier verb be va Siempre where. que vaya el verbo be. Utilizas el where. Fácil. Siempre voy a poner where. Ah, ah, okay. vieja confiable, fácil. ¿Te viste que no te da difícil? Sí. Es que ahí me estaba confundiendo yo. Por eso le ponía el was. Uh -huh. Y... Yo tenía la idea de que era, no sé por qué se me metió la idea, que era desearía, o sea, en un futuro. Mm, ya, yeah. pero no, no, no. Se refiere a, a eso. Acuérdate que el desearía es un, que es un modal, pero siempre es presente. Yo desearía, porque está en yo desearía. Pero si dice yo desearé, mañana desearé, mañana tendré ganas, mañana ya. Entonces uh -huh. es diferente. Ok, seguimos. Ok. Bueno, este es... Vaya, te voy a poner la, las oraciones de ahora. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Verdad que no nos ha puesto el listado de los verbos en pasado? ¿O sí? No, ¿verdad? Um, fíjate que eh, no, porque oh. como ese no es un tema que a mí me corresponde, fíjate. Si te das cuenta, estos son microtemas. Estos sí. Son microtemas que no están en el manual, entonces, pero complementan y hacen uh -huh. que la clase no se trate solo de una cosa, sino que tenemos una parte de speaking, una parte de listening. Entonces, eh, si te das cuenta, en comparación del módulo pasado, esta, estas clases que tengo ahora tienen como diferentes etapas. Sí. Ajá, y así ustedes están como más pendientes y, y, porque solo estar con un tema y un tema es tedioso. Entonces, si tenemos diferentes apartados, da como participamos más y todo eso. Ok. Uh -huh. Bien. Haremos un listado entonces. Eh, Les voy a compartir uno, fíjate. Les voy sí, a compartir pues, uno por si quieren. Ajá, y uno... Vaya... Así, por ejemplo, el verbo have, este, no sé cómo es en el pasado. Por uh -huh. eso a veces me cuesta, porque tengo que estar buscando cuál es el verbo. En Lo pasado. que pasa, fíjate que... Ya voy a ver los temas que me faltan. Porque si es así, voy a dar una pequeña introducción para que sepan cuáles son los verbos regulares e irregulares. Y eso es bien importante. Uh -huh. Porque lo van a ver más adelante. Entonces, ¿sabes que Lo que yo quiero siempre es que vayan un poquito más adelantadito. Bro. Como que sí. sepan más cosas. Y cuando vayan al siguiente módulo, si escuchan algo, ah, eso ya lo vimos. Eso ya tengo una idea. Son una idea, ajá, correcto. Uh -huh. Vale, ya que me dijiste, voy, voy a tomar eso en cuenta. ¿viste? Gracias. Sí, este... sí, tiene tiempo. Sí, 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 no hay problema, va vale, muy bien, ya nos queda como un minuto, oh, cara, carito, así que decime, ¿cuál de estas eh, repasamos? Um, la siete. Number seven, ajá, ajá. Vale, en este caso, ajá. en lugar de can't, ajá. en pasado se utiliza could, si quieres anotar esto. Sí, ahorita sí. Okay. Can. ¿Te acuerdas qué significa Ken? Um, no. Ken significa poder. Poder. Por ejemplo, can you, can can. you dance salsa? Puedes bailar salsa. Can you sing rancheras? Puedes cantar rancheras. Can you cook? Puedes cocinar. Entonces se pregunta el Ken. Uh -huh. En cambio, el could significa podía. Significa dos cosas. Podías, o sea, es, es como el pasado, y podrías. Podrías. Podías o podrías. Por ejemplo, eh, si te digo, could you tell me your name, please? Podría decirme tu nombre. Could you give me your number, please? Podría darme tu número, por favor. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Entonces, aquí, I can afford. Cuando lleva you... el apóstrofe y la T. Es negativo. Ah, can't, es igual can. que el I can't, no puedo. Ah, no Couldn't, puedo. no podría. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces se acaba, ¿verdad? y se dice lo opuesto. O si sea, aquí es negativo, pasa a positivo. Si es positivo, pasa a negativo. Por eso, ¿verdad? I can't afford to go to, on holiday. I wish I could afford to go on holiday. Uh -huh. okay. Porque aquí dice, no me alcanza para irme de vacaciones. Yo me gustaría o deseo 
que me alcance mm. para ir de vacaciones. Para ir de vacaciones. ¿Otro? 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 Ocho. Ocho, ajá. ajá I, don't, don't. I don't have time to read a lot of books. No tengo tiempo para leer muchos libros. Deseo o desearía que desearía tener, ¿verdad? Tener, ajá. Tiempo. tiempo. Entonces, entonces, ya ves, aquí es negativo y aquí se pasa positivo. Y pasa positivo. Ah, okay. Sí, porque es, yo no tengo tiempo para leer. Entonces, sería, ah, desearía tener tiempo para leer. Ok. Ok. Oh, ya le entendí. Ok, vaya, Carita, sí, porque ya se nos acabó el time. Sí, ya lo vi. Pero ya viste que, que se nos va el tiempo bien rápido. Siempre sí, bien. rápido. Es que cuando uno no entiende. Ver, no, pero. Sí, pero va. sí. Me alegra. Thank you, Tisha. You're welcome. Ya sabes. Uh -huh. Un placer. Goodbye.